Hey YouTube, Smoking Briar coming at you. Thought I'd stop in and say howdy to y'all. Been a while. But I um, wanted to show you guys some stuff I got from SmokingPipes.com. And uh, been uh, doing some studying on some uh, tobacco blends I can smoke. And I found a few. And uh, I got me this box in the mail right here. Right there. And it says, Packed with Care by Rachel. Well, thank you, Rachel. But uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I picked up. Uh, first, I want to show you guys a couple things I got from, uh, from uh, Heisenberg 067. And uh, he goes by Old Berg from Tennessee. He ain't far from me. Next state over. And uh, he was kind enough to send me a couple of blends that are hard to get. And uh, one of them is Margate sent me a pretty good amount of Margate and uh, that's a that's a good smoke love Margate and uh, I know Jeremy Larson uh, had sent me a, a small sample of Margate last year and he said he enjoyed it quite a bit and I agree it's a it's a good blend um, and then he also sent me yeah some Penzance and anytime somebody sends you Penzance, you got to appreciate that. And I surely do. I surely do. And uh, he sent me a couple of his homemade tampers and made out of deer antler. And I always appreciate it when folks send me handmade stuff. Um, old Khakis West, he, he sent me that handmade tamper set that he made. And uh, stuff like that, you know, that's... Those are nice gifts because you know the people that made them put their time and and uh, their soul into it, you know, and they, they did it for you. And to me, those are the best kind of gifts. But uh, I appreciate it. I surely do. But uh, I want to show you what I got from Smoking Pipes. Um, these are some blends I found that I could smoke. And, uh, of course, you know that Fog Morton across the pond... Uh, is one I've been smoking. Got me a dang spider bite there the other day and it's still bothering me. But yeah, I, uh, I've i been smoking that and I picked up four tins of it. And check out, it's the same blend, but there's that one and there's that one. So they kind of changed the uh, they changed the packaging on there a little bit and I got three tins like this and one like this so I don't know which one's the newest one some of these well let's see this one says 15 on it and yeah these say 15 too so they must have changed the packaging sometime during the year but I got four big tens of it because I know that's one I really like and one I can smoke um, I also picked up one here Cornell and Deal Star of the East. Now this is a tobacco that's pretty popular. A lot of guys have smoked this. And uh, this has Latakia, Turkish, and Red Virginia, uh, which is stuff that I can smoke. And I remember I had this, but it was years ago. And I, uh, I figured I'd grab another tin and uh, check it out, give it a shot. And I found this stuff using the, uh, the pipe locator. Um, the, or the, not the pipe locator, the uh, tobacco locator on, uh, on uh, tobacco, uh, man I'm doing good here, smokingpipes.com you can enter in what, what you want, what kinds of tobacco you want, and what kinds of tobacco you don't want and they'll spit you out a whole bunch of blends. So I picked up some Star of the East and uh, Grandpa Cavendish, he reminded me in one of his videos uh, he was smoking some of this and I said, you know, I said, I bet you I can smoke that so I looked it up online and sure enough there it is which I'm very happy about early morning pipe because I really enjoyed early morning pipe I used to smoke it all the time and uh, this is another one that has the same components in it real good blend it's one I'm going to enjoy and uh, here's another one that might surprise you guys but 
This is one that I can smoke um, very low in nicotine and it's Balkan Sassini, believe it or not. And uh, original formula Balkan smoking mixture was created in London at the beginning of the century by master of tobacco blenders who first combined the aromatic pleasures of the choicest Macedonia and Latakia leaf and some old Red Virginia. Good stuff. That's a good one. And last but not least, and I was just absolutely tickled that I could get this one and that I could smoke this one. Because before my health issues here, which we'll talk about in a minute, before my health issues, I never really paid attention to what was in the pipe tobacco. If I liked it, I smoked it. But this one here, I was just, I was so happy. And uh, Presbyterian mixture. Yes, sir, this is awesome stuff. And this again, Macedonian Flake, Red Virginia, Latakia. And these blends right here, I got one, two, three, four, I've got five blends, plus that Penzance and Margate, and that's all I have to my name for pipe tobacco. Um, and of course, I do have, you know, right back somewhere over there. Anyways, right back there, there's a big jar of, um, what is it? McClellan uh, Vanilla Black Cavendish. Very sweet vanilla aromatic. And once in a while when I get a sweet tooth, I'll grab a bowl of that. It's very, very mellow. Um, I know it's got some burlies in it, but it's just, and it's, it's very mellow, you know, and it doesn't seem to be too strong. So I don't smoke it a lot, but on occasion, like I said, when I do get a sweet tooth and want an aromatic, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys. Picked me up a new Savinelli, and I thought, you know, I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me some Savinelli pipes because I can use a filter in them. You know, they'll take the the balsa wood filters that Savinelli uh, provides you with, and they'll also take the Medico filters or the Dr. Grabo filters. Um, so I said, you know, I said that could only help, right? I've been smoking um, a pipe that uh, Bremen pipe smoker Mark sent to me. And uh, it's got a 9 millimeter filter in it. And it restricts the draw. And uh, Grandpa Cavendish, he said, just, you keep smoking it. He said, you'll get used to it. And, I, and he's right. I have gotten used to that restricted draw a little more than I thought I would. But um, I have been smoking that mostly. And I'm trying to use filter pipes. But I did pick up this Savinelli for the filter. And I love the shape show it to you guys there it is and it's a Savinelli Roma 614 shape love the stem and uh, mm -hmm. kind of like an Umpal type of pipe and I know uh, again I've been watching Jeremy Larson and he's he's really been getting into the Umpal shape and for me personally I love these big bend shapes I just hate it when they're drilled wrong, you know. And actually, um, this one's drilled pretty good. I got lucky because Peterson and Savinelli, when you order a pipe like this, you are taking a chance that it's going to be drilled terrible. And a lot of times it is, but this one actually... And I noticed one thing about... I used to get these pipes quite a bit back in the day, and Savinelli always drilled at a real steep, terrible angle. But now they've finally gotten around to using a drilling method where they d they drill down and then across. And this is the first pipe I've seen that they've done that. So they probably got tired of hearing a lot of complaints about it and changed the way they did their drilling. Because I've never seen this drilled, a Savinelli drilled this way before. And uh, it'll actually pass a cleaner. So I was just tickled about that. And uh, so that's all I got in the package. And I'm pretty pleased with uh, with the blends and stuff I got. And uh, I just wanted to talk about my health real quick. Um, I did see my doctor, my health, uh, heart doctor, a couple days ago. And they had put me on a different medication about a month ago. Some of you guys may have seen it on TV advertised. It's called Entresto. It's a, a drug for people that have heart failure. And it's supposed to be this huge breakthrough in heart failure treatment. Um, it's supposed to do wonders. 
and my heart doctor has 17 patients on it right now and he had two two or three patients that could barely walk from from their house out to the mailbox and back because of their heart failure issues and he said that after being on this medication for about three or four months that they are now actually being able to get up and walk around Walmart uh, whereas before they could hardly walk to their mailbox so that's uh, that's pretty promising I've been taking it now for about a month um, there's three different doses of it I'm you know you start on the lowest dose and work your way up to the highest dose and I just started the second uh, level I did a month of low dose which I didn't feel any different and now I've just started the second level um, so we're gonna see how that goes for a month and then after that we're gonna go up to the full strength and after that I should be feeling uh, he said I should be feeling quite a bit more energetic and, and a lot better than I was so anyways um, yeah uh, old Berg I'm gonna put a link to his channel right down in the bucket and I wanted to do a shout out too and uh, I know a lot of you guys probably know who this is but if you haven't give his chance if you guys like the outdoors and you just you know you like being on the water and you like hiking and stuff like this check out pipes and kayaks Brad um, he's just a he's a real nice guy he's just a nice decent guy um, very laid-back kind of guy and he takes you out uh, and he you know he does videos on with him in the kayak and the camera facing out so it's just like you're riding in the boat and he takes you some beautiful places and uh, he goes out to these islands and he goes out in the, in the wilderness and he just finds a nice place and, and he makes a video there with uh, you know smoking a pipe in that place or, or he'll do a, a hiking trip and uh, he'll take you in on a place you know same way shows you where he's hiking and it's like you're doing it yourself you know then he finds a nice spot and, and he'll talk a little bit and smoke his pipe real good channel real good channel to watch um, I can't say enough about Brad's channel and like I said check out old Heisenberg he's a he's a good old boy from Tennessee real friendly fella real nice guy you'll get a kick out of him he calls smoking a pipe choochin he says you gotta get your pipe and chooch on it cracks me up and it was real funny because the other day I watched a video from Bremen pipe smoker and uh, he had Leatherneck Piper on there as a guest uh, over there in Bremen, Germany. And sure enough, I'll be danged if he didn't say he was chooching on his pipe. And I said, how in the world did that expression get all the way over to Germany? But I guess they hooked up on Voxer or something. But, but now chooching is worldwide. <laughs> so, yeah, go, go over and check out old Berg's channel. You'll like him. But I'm going to put links down in the bucket. But uh, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that uh, box opening with you. Show you some new stuff I can smoke, new pipe. Check everybody out, see how you're all doing. I'm, I'm feeling a little better, and I appreciate so many of you guys with the PMs and the comments and the text messages and just all the good stuff and the gifts and everything. Just a great community. I'm so, uh, so grateful to be a part of it and so grateful for all you guys and your friendships. Um, thank you all to my, uh, to my new subs, um, every one of you guys that have subscribed. Um, I don't know, I'm just speechless by it. You guys have, you guys just always blow me away. Whenever I think it can't get any better, it sure enough does. So, anyways, that's it for me. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'll see you all again on the next one. Until then, you all be well now. Take care.